Yo guys, I want to talk about a very underrated thing, switching lanes, so the goal of switching lanes is to give a favorable situation to one side or both sides, and in here the both sides you get Pali out of it, me and Syndra, and so in here Syndra walks up top lane, uh, these are her runes, generic Syndra runes with bomb plating, generic Trindamir runes in here into melee matchups, and so the goal in here is very simple, to give us both a very favorable matchup, while notably also you should actually give some advice to your um, <coughs> fellow mid laner on how to face Jax, for example I told him that Jax could possibly Q start if he sees that Syndra is top lane, Jax already E started so that's already great for her, but just saying, he could Q start cheese her with glass, I told her watch out on bushes because that's where he could jump out with his EQ, on mid lane terror on bush is similar to that, that would actually give a mid laner a engage opportunity, so just saying that those can be scary, and also notably I did also warn the Syndra about potential zag gangs, and I also warned the raptors, so it was very easy to know where, uh, where I mean, zag started from, probably could have warned it a little earlier, I will warn it later, and as we can visually see, I'm hard winning my matchup, Swinging those basics in, almost lost half HP. Syndra is also winning, but she's got choking a bit on her. Sp no, she doesn't. Oh, but she ate one basic. Uh, well, I guess I just weird. Now, I guess it's uh, uh, her spacing is a bit weird. But normally, let, let's just say in a normal case scenario, um, it shouldn't. Like, you see, he, she's also winning quite. Uh, it's not that bad, you know. N now and then she choked on her spacing, and I hope she doesn't get. Don't tell me you get cheese. You don't get cheese. So we can be sure the. But you need level. Ah. <laughs> okay, she's choking a little bit, but it should be it should be fine still. She don't have. He didn't have Q. I don't know what what was that Q about. But she is choking now and then. But we can visually see both of us are actually winning quite hard. I even warded the Raptors and I even pinged Syndra. So I even pinged Syndra signals to retreat because Zek was actually. Uh, could be top side, right? This is not the best war to reveal him because I warded, he was on his red by the time, and this doesn't exactly reveal him in the best possible way. I think I didn't reveal him if I'm correct. Uh, did, did we see him? Did we not see him? I think we exa exactly walked this way. <laughs> he exactly walked away that way, uh huh. Alright, so it didn't reveal him in the best possible way, where he's patting towards, so I could then ward a little better, but at least we know he started from top side based on that war. Uh, and in here the same thing applies, uh, <coughs> just basically, we are poking down these fees, we are winning our matchup, top lane is also quite hard winning, uh, uh, she needs her level up though, that looks a bit scary, Ooh. that looks a bit scary, I think, I think the Jax is dead though, I don't suppose she should be that sphere. And both of them have flash ups, so that's a bit concerning, and Jax wants one freeze. And I'm also quite hard winning, right? So... Uh huh. And in here, look, I can even get plates and trade into him, right? So, plates trade into him, and the good thing is I placed two points in my E, because under tower W is often not the most useful thing. And so now, as he gave up his uh, ability, his E, he has more and more or less mana, and eventually, look what happens. Um, I slowly push in the wave. I slowly kill him, I think Cinder also, Cinder didn't quite get the kill, but she still has a quite high uh, CS advantage, so that's also good. And so in here, very simple, what happens, again a short rate spin out, cause Zach could jump me, and in here what happens, I basic attack him once with grasp, crit, and he dies. So he either loses the CS, or he dies, and so in here is kind of a shitty ultimatum, because he does have TP, for, for, it's a better case scenario where he does have TP, but I still get to shove in the wave, and I get a perfect Tiamat uh, recal as an example, and I also kinda messed up my control ward, I accidentally pressed control ward under my tower, cause I tried to Tiamat it. Um, but basically... Basically it's almost like Jax's grasp is nullified against uh, Syndra, because like if she if she knocks her, him back uh, consistently, and plays around his Q, then uh, it's kinda like that, you know, he cannot actually get grass value, well, normally that's how it would go. Cause like, actually the funny thing is that Syndra wanted me to switch, so it wasn't me that suggested the idea, cause a lot of mid laners just, 
I don't know if they play on top lane, they suddenly don't know how to play a matchup, they get cheesed by everything, they die to every single gang, so lots of like mid laners are not comfortable to play on top lane, so I'm like, yeah bro, okay, then you can just sit there, but in here my laner suggested it, usually you can suggest it as well if they know the matchup or if you can give them the proper matchup tips to get things going, and then it should be fine as I did. <coughs> I look at the trades, man. Like he, he cannot breathe. I'm almost full HP all the time, and I'm also I'm also taking two plates, having a huge CS advantage. Well, actually six CS. <laughs> it's actually not as big as I thought, but yeah, probably like somewhat of an XP advantage. Usually, if he goes by the way ignite, and I would have more CS advantage if he went ignite. Usually, these players will go ignite. Usually, uh, in this this situation, he went TP though. But I even like play around this shit. I ghost. I ghost in because I know he doesn't have E, I know he doesn't have his other shit, I basic him, I press Q so I don't have to R early, if Zack jumps me, I can really easily like press my R, we got already two kills on Fizz, we can see Fizz cannot do shit into me, um, I'm also all the time as much as possible I'm warning, oh and in here I kinda fall for a Zack gank <laughs> as well very soon, but that's it for now, I think you guys got the main point of like, of my reasoning on why like lane switching can be beneficial for both sides in fact Cinder also got some extra gold for like rune as well obviously so it's not only a CS advantage uh, so that's it for now guys have a nice day